everybody, this is Ray the Video Guy back with another quick review and demo of some of the new features in ScreenFlow 4, which was just released. Now one of the great things that ScreenFlow 4 has to offer in this version that it did not have before is the ability to add audio and video effects to your clips. And the way that we do that is if you highlight a piece of video and you come over to the camera icon for the video properties, you'll see that you've got two things down here. One is color controls and you've got saturation, brightness and contrast which you can adjust. We'll take a look here. You can see it changes the image quality there. Brightness and of course saturation. But aside from the color controls you also have the ability to add filters and you do that by hitting the plus button. And you'll see there's a whole bunch of effects that are in here from color effects, color adjustment, stylizing, blurring, and distortion effects. So for instance, under blurring, we've got different types of blur. So if we choose, for instance, a disk blur, and we add that. You'll see that it just adds a an interesting different type of blur than you might normally see there. And of course to get rid of it just hit the X and we can try a different effect. So let's try a stylize effect. In this case let's try the depth of field. And you can see what depth of field does is you can see this section here is blurred and this section is not almost like a camera lens that's focusing in on this portion of the video or technically I guess this portion and so some of the other stuff gets out of focus as it uh, simulates being farther away from the lens and of course we've got all sorts of adjustments on there that we can play with Let's see we can do things like that and of course we've got Things like pixelating, pointillize, spot colors. Spot color is actually a very interesting one. We'll actually add that on there for a second. And you'll see what it does is it chooses a range of colors and only shows those particular colors. And of course we can change these to whatever we want. So we could say, oh, we only want to see reds. And so, of course, now you've got just reds. Okay, you can close that out. So there's just a whole myriad of different effects that you can now add. And it's not just video effects that we can add into this. There's actually audio effects as well. You do that by selecting audio. And once again, coming down to the audio filters. And you'll see that you've got all the typical Apple filters that you'd have inside of other programs like Final Cut. So you've got graphic equalizers, and so you can adjust each frequency. Just a whole bunch of different fun things you can have. You've got reverbs and processing. So basically, anything that you would normally have built into programs like Final Cut Pro that are using the core effects of Mac OS X are now inside of ScreenFlow, so you've got a lot more options on what you can do with ScreenFlow. So as you can see, ScreenFlow 4 really has added a lot of great professional video processing features, and it really does take it from being just a screen capture tool into a full-blown video production studio. So if you're looking for uh, a program that's going to be very easy to use and still provide you with a lot of powerful effects, then check out ScreenFlow 4. You can do so by clicking the button just below this video or by going to raythevideoguy.com slash